And thanks for joining us here at 5 everyone. I'm Marcel Fontenot in the weather lab with Rob. A stormy evening ahead for Acadia and Rob. Some possible severe weather in the mix too, right? Yeah, absolutely, especially as we get down toward the coastal parishes. But a low end risk of severe weather. All of us get a pretty good soaking, but there's going to be some embedded thunderstorms as we head into the evening hours as well. Here's the big picture. You see rain moving through Louisiana, southeast Texas, and then you get up toward Oklahoma. It's snow. It's snowing pretty heavily with this system, but we're not going to see that here locally. As we dial into the latest Power Doppler 3, you can see showers moving across Acadiana. They're heaviest down across the coastal parishes, and that's going to be the theme throughout the evening. On and off showers and storms, and then some locally heavy downpours for some. We'll get to the rain accumulations coming up in the main weathercast. Here's a quick look at the predictive radar model through 7 p.m. Notice the atmosphere will bring more showers and storms through the area through this evening, heaviest of which should be down by the coast. And then by midnight or so, things start moving out, and things will be quieting down, and it's back to a cloudy and cool period. Your hour by hour forecast has those rain chances pegged near 100% through about 10 or 11 o'clock tonight. Then rain chances ease off and temperatures stay in the 50s for the most part. Upper 40s uh, for portions of Acadiana will go 47 the low in Lafayette. And then tomorrow lingering cloud cover staying cool and it's also going to be breezy ahead of the system and behind the system. Those southerly winds could cause some uh, some coastal flooding as well. We'll talk a little bit more about that uh, severe weather threat and the complete review forecast coming up in just a bit.